All finished, are we? Good. The cold doesn't let up out here, does it? They've the means to keep everyone warm at Camp Broken Glass and Tertium. But the measures are still only temporary. Subsisting on charity, dreading the day the sympathy of others is exhausted. It's no way to live. They need lasting safety and security. Though things will never be as they once were. If we can restore a modicum of normalcy to their lives, maybe that will be enough for them to move forward. If we're to achieve that, we have to work harder. I have to work harder. You think I don't know my own limits? Still, I appreciate your concern. Well, our work here is done. We should be heading back. I hope Alpha No and Zero haven't gotten into any trouble. I cannot imagine how awful it must have been to serve as Xenos' avatar. To not only suffer him, but so much else. <laughs> She's a fighter, all right. Like you and me. Thank you, miss. Thank you.
This feels strangely familiar. Excuse me, Alphano. My wife, she's come down with a high fever. Do you think you could take a look at her? Of course. Give me a moment. Zero, may I leave the rest here to you? Fine by me. Thank you again for your help. Uh, Zero, was it? I take it you're one of Alphano's comrades? Comrade? We've entered into a cooperative pact, if that's what you mean. Pact? No, no, nothing so formal. What I mean is, you must know each other well. Be on good terms, enjoy each other's company, that sort of thing. Then no, he's not my comrade. I have none. Nor will I ever, I think. Oh. Did I say something odd? No, not at all. On the contrary, it makes sense. When Alphino and the Contingent first arrived, we rejected them out of hand. Whatever they may have claimed, they were the enemy. Savages with their savage ways. To accept their help was to admit defeat. But no matter how poorly we treated them, they didn't turn their backs on us. They stayed and listened. That's just the kind of people they are. Makes sense they'd get along with someone like you who tries to push others away. Get along? I'm upholding my part of the bargain. There's nothing more to it than that. If you say so. Ah, I'd nearly forgotten why I came. Are you hungry? We all get rations, and considering the work you're doing, you're as good as one of us. I am running low on ether. Very well. Azim step style dumplings. Boots, they call them. Never had a dumpling. It's like the kind of bread stuffed with a filling. Meat or vegetables, usually, that you bake or steam. We have our own recipes in Galamol, too. My mother liked to make them. My brother and sister always fought over the jam-filled ones. J just think of it as bread, all right? I should warn you, though, they're spicy. Helps them keep longer, I assume. Too much for the children to handle, though. Interesting. Interesting good, or interesting...
I don't know much about taste, not anymore. But I do feel a sensation in my mouth. Is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. <sighs> That's enough for me. I've heard it said that spices are more akin to fire than flavors. Perhaps that makes them easier to understand. Oh, Eulus, getting acquainted with Zero, are we? Um, uh, I suppose I am. No harm in that. A quaint away. Ah, everyone is here. Excellent. Thank you all for your hard work. I've just finished up myself. Shall we go and find Astinian? Alphano! Alize! 